Here's five things that you need to do immediately after buying your brand new used car. Before you buy the car, you must have checked your service history. When I got the car, it still had a few thousand kilometers to go until it's due for service. First thing I did, I changed the engine oil and the oil filter. Why? Because frankly, this car is 10 years old. It's well out of its warranty and like BMW service period. So it had been serviced outside, which is okay, which is what I, I always do myself, but I didn't know when the oil was changed and I didn't know when the oil filter was changed and I had no idea what type of oil had been used. And to be honest, I really like didn't know whether I should trust the service history, like maybe I have trust issues. So I did change the oil, the whole, like the engine oil and the oil filter. The number one thing that you need to do if you want to maintain your engine, uh, your engine has to be well lubricated all the time with the right oil. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you need to do, a lot of people don't pay attention to this because I'm gonna ha use BMW as an example. BMW tells you that it's like life lasting or whatever. If your car has over 100,000 kilometers or 60,000 miles of mileage, you need to change your gear oil. And the main reason is most people don't change their engine, like their gear oils because they think it's life lasting and it's kind of expensive. I mean it's double the price of like just regular engine oil so why do you need to change your gearbox oil same reason as why you'd have to change your engine oil it gets dirty it gets contaminated after so many so much mileage on the car the best thing to do is for you to just change the gearbox oil and the filter at the same time flush it out add some new oil so that you can ensure the long lasting life of your gearbox for years to come. Because the last thing you want is some gearbox failure or engine failure because you didn't change the, some oil. Okay, I have a bonus point for you. You should always change your blinker fluids. My mechanic told me it's very good and he charged me only 1000 USD for it. I think I got a good deal. Okay, I was obviously joking about the blinker fluid. Please don't take it seriously. Make sure coolant, all the fluids like that in the car. I even charged my AC, like filled up AC gas. Make sure all of them are taken care of. What the hell it did this bear to do to my car? But all right, so point three is that you should check your mountings and bushings. So with this car, when I got it, I was hearing some horrible noise from the back and I had no idea what that noise is until I went to a trusty mechanic, which you should visit also if you're staying in Malaysia, link him down below. And he figured out that that's my, that's my shock mounting. We checked all the bushings of the car. We changed the shock mountings both sides on my rear. The fronts were fine. We checked the engine mounting, the gearbox mounting, all of the bushings, all the arms, control arms, everything, because these things are wear and tear. And since you just bought a used car, they probably have already worn and torn. So make sure to get them all checked out and it will make your used car feel like a brand new car, I promise. Okay, the next point is only if you have a BMW with an M20 engine. I have a, which, which are, I believe, the 320i and the 328i. If you have a model that's prior, that's M5, got that. Dude, that M5 gets me every time. If you have a model that's prior to 2015, these engines, like I do, these engines are known for one thing and that's not a good thing and that's your timing chain. So if 
pure car has done over 60,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers. It is advised to get your timing chain changed because if you don't, it's gonna be an expensive repair if you get a timing chain failure. And because the timing chain failure can lead to engine failure and then you're just not gonna be in a good position. So you've, your car has already done over 100,000 kilometers. I get that timing chain changed. Not gonna be that expensive. Maybe it's like a $500 fix. It's gonna save you in the long run. Okay, if you watch this video this far, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button because it's free. Let's go on with the rest of the video. One more thing, if you have a BMW, you know this. BMW is known for using plastic parts in the engine and your charge pipe is made of plastic and your boost pipe over here is made of like legit like rubber. One thing that people do with these, which I'm gonna do in an upcoming video, is you gotta upgrade, you can upgrade these to metal parts, to aluminium parts, which is gonna save you from ever being stranded on the side of the road because God knows I have three times with this car already because of a leaky charge pipe. All right, so if you enjoyed this, click here or here or here wherever it is watch another one of my videos i really appreciate you watching the channel uh, let me know what you think of this video let me know if you've had any problems uh, with your used car and let me know what you drive and what other videos you'd like to see all down below in the comments i really appreciate you watching this video until now see you in the next one what happened oh, oh bro it's a sign of good luck. Yeah, let me rub yeah, it no, on no, you. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Where do I f Just wipe it all off the nature, man. It's from the nature, so it goes in the nature. Yeah, you're part of a nature. <laughs>